first and foremost, this kind of experience that you have when you get so close to winning uh, and just falling short, it fires, uh, it lights a fire under everybody. It's funny because we have to do some of these interviews with Japanese media, with, with different media all around the world. Um, they want to create a story. And truthfully, the story for us is that we didn't finish what we started. Uh, we didn't come home with the cup, and we have unfinished business to attend to. What I think the challenge is moving forward is to be able to uh, manage that kind of, uh, not only fame, but the time spent that now you're not totally focused on just playing, you have, you have a business to attend to, you, you, you're going on a personal appearances and, and you're all over the world trying to promote yourself and the game. But I know everybody going into London is, is thinking about gold or, or that being a failure if we don't win. Well, I think it's really been interesting in the, the, the career that I've had to see the success in different countries based on who's won that world championship that specific year. You know, Japanese media, there's 50, 50 media outlets here uh, from Japan in Algarve. There was one last year. We did something really special in the U.S. this last year without winning in terms of growing the game, increasing the popularity. And I think that coming home with a gold medal from London will make our game and, and the popularity of this team even bigger and better. I know that these younger players are going to uh, be challenged. I know that they're up to the task. I know Alex Morgan, uh, Lauren Chaney, Sydney LaRue, they're just, they're, they're shocking me in a really fantastic way. Uh, I think in a way that um, hopefully continues to happen throughout the future of this team. Up until these last couple of years, I haven't really put myself in the veteran role, even though I've been around the block a couple times. Um, I've always kind of felt like I was still on the middle part of my career, not on the, the end part. The younger these kids are, it's almost as like I was 25 at, the, at their level. They're so much more developed, I feel like, in terms of the game itself. So they're giving themselves even more of an opportunity than I had, and that's all we could have ever wished. For, for a younger player. That's what we're doing here. That's what all of the veterans have been trying to do for 15, 20, 30 years even, um, to make sure that this game is better when we leave it than when we found it. The game has evolved so much in the last 10 years. Uh, it's not just a physical game anymore, where I think historically the Americans take, can take that game. Uh, I think that it has to be more sophisticated. We need to be more patient in our attack and keep possession of the ball. This team has a history also of never relying and resting on its laurels. Uh, we want to continually get better. We want to continually push each other. And you know, I think part of the, the, the challenge for this next year for us will be, in fact, to not plateau and to continually move upwards and, and, and strive for being better. If you're a pro athlete and you're successful, I guarantee you think about a lot of those, uh, those moments in which you can get better. Otherwise, what are we doing? We're never going to grow. I think with World Championships comes a certain level of stress, and I think it changes the way uh, some teams and moments can play. The game against Japan was very interesting because I think we outplayed them. For most of the game, we had a lot more good chances than they had. Um, not that I haven't thought about it much. Um, <laughs> but I think that we want to show and prove that we can finish what we started. There's so few opportunities in life that you get to challenge yourself to be the best in the world. And if we get that opportunity again, I can guarantee you that this team's going to do whatever it takes in order to win. All role models are grooming you to understand and know what to do 
when your time comes to be in their position. Um, do I liken myself or compare myself to Mia and the level in which she played soccer and the fame that she had? No. But I think that she had an important responsibility in the way that she affected the people around her, me being one of them. She was a professional. She was so good at dealing with the media, I learned that. She was so good at dealing with her fame and her success and her failures, I learned that. Uh, I can only hope to instill uh, the similar kind of ways in, in, in terms of acting to represent your country, to represent this sport. Um, she was fantastic. And you know, if I can do a small fraction of what she's done, what she did for me to maybe one of the younger players, then uh, I'll, I'll deem my career a success. First of all, you have to always feel humbled by the abilities that um, a group of people, what they can actually accomplish. Because, you know, there were people who were fans and diehard fans before the World Cup even started. Those people are to be commended. But I also want to commend the new fans, the people that we kind of turned over this last summer. I want to challenge our fans to not lose sight of what we're doing. And I think in order to do that, it's not just all about winning. And that's what was so, so special and inspiring to me when I came home from the World Cup. Is we didn't win, but we were treated like champions. We've got so many more games, so much more fun to be had. Uh, hopefully less drama, but uh, gold. <laughs>